she is recognized as the pride of the nation. Rebecca Abe Singer is probably the youngest in Sri Lanka to be conferred the highest titular honor awarded by the government of Sri Lanka of Desamanya. And the reason is her highly meritorious service. Coming from a very giving family which gave Rebecca that initial feel for social work, it was Rebecca's higher studies in law that gave her the momentum to pursue it with enthusiasm. From then on, it was charitable work all the way from teaching English at the Vajira Children's Home to founding her own charity organization, SmartWorks, where she immerses herself working with single mothers from disadvantaged communities. And today, our focus is these single mothers. Welcome, Rebecca, to Prime Group Kaleidoscope Seligo Life. Let's talk. Why did you hone in on single mothers through your charity, SmartWorks? Well, this question in particular, Savitri, is something that I gave a lot of thought to uh, simply because there are varied reasons as to why we decided to focus on single mothers in particular. But why this community uh, would be just so that they would have a fair fighting chance at survival and doing life. So what are the biggest challenges that single mothers face? Well, Savitri, there are quite a few, but um, if I were to hone in on one single uh, challenge that across the board the mothers that we support face, it would be the lack of employment opportunities for them. Uh, for example, they come with backgrounds where they have either sickly children or children that are too young to be left at home alone. So um, there aren't job opportunities that accommodate their unique situations and the challenges that they come with and the job opportunities that are there don't really pay a salary that is good enough to be to enable these mothers to run the home and really fend for their children and make life possible for them so this is one main challenge that we as an organization is working towards influencing and hopefully changing sometime soon how do you see the community perception of single mothers in sri lanka and thereby how does that impact the perception on their children for the most part um, with the fundraisers that we have done and with what i have witnessed thus far i can confidently say that society has been quite positive have they have a positive perception towards single mothers and uh, they're quite sympathetic and empathetic towards their situation of course the children but i've also heard of the negative side of things not quite witnessed it but i have heard of it where society can be very judgmental especially because they're women to answer your question once again um, i think there's a very positive perception that is extended to single mothers and their children. So single mothers span across social strata. What are the commonalities that run across these? Commonalities, uh, Savitri, would have to be um, the decision as to why they decided to step into single parenthood as opposed to sharing parenthood with their partner. Uh, the two most significant reasons where they would step out uh, into single parenthood would be um, in the event of domestic abuse and uh, adultery. The differences would uh, be that the women right up the ladder have financial stability and that just means that women who are down the ladder don't have that. What is the responsibility that the state and us, the community, have towards single mothers? What actually needs to be done? Firstly, I think it would be to broaden the accessibility of employment opportunities in order to accommodate single mothers and the unique circumstances that they come with. Um, they need to be offered, I think, reasonable salaries, keeping in mind that the list of expenses they have to deal with are quite a few. Secondly, to be willing to support these mothers who struggle in silence. Um, I want to encourage the audience to invest in their children's education and donate towards making their lives a little easier. Um, people need to understand that their struggle is uniquely challenging, being forced to fulfill the role of an absentee father. Um, thirdly and finally, I think it is pivotal that the Sri Lankan divorce law be amended to include abuse 
as a ground for divorce. And I think failing to do that would be to jeopardize the health and the safety of the victim. Thank you, Rebecca, for joining us on Selling Your Life. Let's talk today. Rebecca believes strongly that single mothers are the unsung heroes in society because not only do they bring up families with a limited, if no support system, but also grapple with the stigma of being a single mother. Her Us For Her campaign she's currently mooting is all about extending that community support, which is so vital to keep not just physical well-being, but also mental health. Upbeat. So glad you could join us today on Prime Group Kaleidoscope. We are on four digital sites and very accessible. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook and LinkedIn. Once you've watched us, press like and subscribe or follow us too. Making all your new goals in life a reality is why our strength is your strength. With 12 billion rupees worth of customer benefits in 2020 and a life insurance fund worth over 100 billion rupees, our strength is your strength. You focus on your goals. We will take care of the risks. Selinko Life.